Hi, Sean here from 3M. Welcome to the third and final segment for steel panel replacement. In this episode, I'm gonna talk about how we've prepared this center pillar, and then moving on to the replacement part, how are we gonna prep that for welding? Let's get started. Okay, so where we left off before is I had this panel prepped, but I did not have weld through coating. So I've since masked and sprayed on the weld through coating. And this part is all ready for replacement or for the replacement panel. So now I'm gonna move on to the replacement panel here. And what we're gonna need to do is remove the coatings where we're gonna prep and apply weld through primer here as well. Now keep in mind, this black coating on this part may not be an e-coat, it's probably just a shipping primer. So we're gonna strip that off and spray on weld through coating instead because you're gonna get that sacrificial corrosion protection from that weld through coating, which is gonna be better than this shipping primer. So now that the backside has been stripped of all the coatings and ready for weld through primer, we need to prepare the front side as well. Now this depends on the type of welding you're doing. So if you were going to squeeze type weld, um, you may prepare it in one way. If you're plug welding, you may prepare it slightly different. So uh, one of the things some guys like to do is only clean the coating off where they're going to make the welds. And that's fine, but in this case, these welds are so close together, there's no way I can really space them out. I'd have just a sliver of primer left on there between the welds, it's not worth doing. So I'm gonna just completely strip off the coatings on that side. If we were plug welding, um, you may want to just clean those spots. Just for the sake of uh, uh, an, ex an example, I'm gonna strip this side only in the spots where we're gonna weld. So I'll do one completely stripped and then the one uh, where we're just gonna strip where the welds are. So once I do that, this will be ready to clamp in place. Okay, so our replacement part is now prepared. It's got weld through coating on the backside flanges for corrosion protection. On the front side, I've prepared it in two different ways, where on one side, I stripped off all the coating because the welds are so close together, it really doesn't uh, make a lot of sense to just clean it where the welds are. But I did that here anyways, just to show as an example, if guys wanna do that, okay? So this is ready to put onto the panel and clamp it in place. The only thing we really have left to do on our replacement or our uh, host panel is to apply an NVH dampening material to reattach the existing OEM foam. And you can see that in our foams videos. And then I'm gonna have to apply a little bit of adhesive around the hinges that they've got from the factory as well. Um, and so that would be the last thing we would need to do. And then this is ready to clamp in place. And I'll just fit it up. Apply a few clamps. So I would apply clamps all the way around this every four or five inches, maybe. Just put a few on here. Okay, so now that this panel is clamped in place, this is where we would need to think about welding. We're not gonna show any welding today, but if you need more information on welding, just click on this link above here. So this panel is all ready to go. That's it for this video. Thanks, and we'll see you again next time. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss our next video. If you have questions or have ideas for future topics, leave us a comment down below. If you want more content like this, be sure to check us out at the 3M Collision Repair Academy. The link for that is in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.